All right, let's see if this works. Stoli! And Gigi, come here, Stoli. Come here. Stoli. Oh, Stoli. Hi, Stoli. Wanna say hi? And Gigi, don't worry, Gigi. Don't be neglected. Oh, you big fat girl. Yeah. You gonna, you gonna go for car rides in the Porsche? Yeah? All right, guys, down. Okay. Hopefully you can hear me in this video. Hopefully. Let's see. All right, guys. We just did a little mic check, sound check. We know the microphone works. I like the, the blue. I think this is the Yeti blue. It's all good. I've had this for many years. Back to the crypto plumber days. A lot of fun. What's even more fun and exciting is that my Porsche is on a vessel. So in case you haven't seen any previous videos on the ordering process and the, you know, the 911 rolled off the assembly line in the beginning of June, um, last year, I decided to order a Porsche 911 Turbo S Cabriolet and I held nothing back. I really did. Didn't, sorry, but quite exciting. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update because, drum roll, it's on a vessel. Here's the car. It's in chalk white. I did the blue roof, uh, the same matching interior seats with the chalk stitching. Um, a lot of cool stuff. Check out the early video. I'll put a link right up there. Yeah, right up there. <laughs> so let's check out the Track Your Dream on... TrackYourDream.Porsche.com. One of the first things that pops up is that PCNA is aware of new delays in shipping. Uh, completed vehicles currently waiting loading in the port of Emden. And this mostly affected um, the Taycan 12-volt auxiliary batteries, and they're working on it, but uh, they ask you to stay in close contact with your Porsche dealer for updates on this dynamic situation. So we just X that out because it's really not relevant. Let's close out of there. Um, okay, it's on the vessel, right? It was actually on the vessel on August 12th. Today is August 24th. And if I slide in this window into view, it's on the SFL Composer. Right now it's on the US East Coast and it was reported five hours ago. And it's in route to Jacksonville, Florida, United States, with a sailing speed of 15.5 knots. And it should arrive there tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Yep, yeah. 20 hours is 8 o'clock. And they give you some info on this SFL Composer. It's a vehicles carrier built 17 years ago, and it's flying under the flag of Liberia. Pretty cool stuff, but looks like they need a paint job there. Look at that. Come on. Porsche. So that's pretty exciting. We have a little arrow button here. Your Porsche has begun its maritime travels across the Atlantic Ocean. It will be aboard the automotive Rolo, roll on, roll off vessel for the duration of its trip. And the largest of these can transport up to 8,000 vehicles. Only one will be yours. Very, very nice. So if we look here, estimated time to deal arrival is roughly about 30 days, right? And um, yeah, the next step will be the entering the port channel. And as you can see, they're saying that it's maybe September 2nd, right? But it also has no, port entry, port of Jacksonville, port processing, and it should be there around the 23rd. Now, I'm taking delivery at the Porsche Experience Center of Atlanta. Stay tuned, guys, because you know me. Mikey Pipes loves to vlog and record not only my professional life, but the, the cars on my personal side. And it's I'm honored to be able to share this experience with you guys. I really appreciate it. But I will definitely create a video when it arrives to Atlanta 
at the Porsche Experience Center. Now, I also want to make make it crystal clear on the duration of time that this vehicle took. Now, granted, I don't even have it yet, but we know it's on a ship. I got a VIN number. I even got a quote from my insurance company on how much more this is going to add to my insurance. Uh, strangely enough, really not that much. You know, I'm 45 years old. I have a clean driving record. Um, no... Uh, no tickets, no accidents, none of that stuff. My wife in the same same boat. You know, we have, um, you know, clean driving records. And so I have a great insurance carrier. And I happen to use NatGen Premier for my home and my personal auto. And we have, you know, several vehicles on the policy. And it's really not adding that, not that much. I think in a period of a year, I think it's adding almost, almost like 1800 bucks. So not real a lot, right? And that's for a full comp and collision. Again, your miles may vary. You have accidents, you have DWs, you have this, you have that. Good luck to you, right? Uh, especially if you're young. But I started this process back last summer, last August. I was in the pool in the backyard and I really wanted a G-Wagon. I really, really wanted a G wagon, and you know the retail price, one hundred and ninety-seven thousand dollars. You know for a G sixty-three AMG. You know just base model is fine with me. Maybe I'll do a matte paint, but you couldn't get them. All right, I called a Mercedes. They're telling me two years. All right, reached out to my leasing company. I use First Class Leasing there in Brooklyn. I deal with a gentleman named Anchi, Andrew, for those. And uh, he goes, yeah, it's rough. And he was like, but you know what? If you really want to get something cool, I can get you a 911 Turbo in less than a year. I'm like, oh, really? I'm like, you know what? And it holds its value better because I did a quick little YouTube search, not YouTube, Google search, eBay, and you know, they're selling for th upwards of 330 350 and north of that. So whatever. So last summer in the pool, making some phone calls, settled on 911 Turbo S, went online to Porsche.com and designed the vehicle, gave my my uh, leasing guy, who's handling the purchase of it, gave him the code, and he's like, all right, hold on tight. You know, it may be several months before you hear back from anyone, but I got you. Right around December, towards Christmas, New Year's time, I get a phone call from a Porsche dealer in Pennsylvania, um, says, listen, you know, we need you to fill some forms. We need a deposit and, um, we'll take it from there. You know, we got you a slot. I'm like, cool. Excellent. So I gave him $5,000 uh, down payment, you know, deposit, put it on my Amex. And, um, we waited, we waited a week later. I get some emails from Porsche, you know, I can now track the, the process and, and that's where we're at now. So. It was supposed to arrive the end of July, um, but I guess production problems, if you take a look, um, let's go back a few, you know, let's see here. So star production was on the 1st of June, and I believe it was the 7th or the 6th where, somewhere like a week later, I believe, and there's a video on it on my channel, uh, Mikey's Garage, and um, you know, it was, it was off the, it rolled off the assembly line, I got pictures of it, you know. And the estimated time to deal arrival was the end of July. I'm like, oh, great. I'm going to have it for August, right? But that didn't happen because production was completed. They do the CP 8.0. And let's open that up, right? So, and this happened on when? This happened on August 5th. So it sat basically two months. Rolled off the assembly line and it sat there for two months. I got the pictures. It's in the previous video. So it says, you know, now that the, the, they completed the production process, it, might, it now must pass checkpoint 8.0. An intensive final inspection to ensure it's up to Porsche's rigorous standards. At our testing facility, your, fuel, your vehicle will be fueled and tested on the shaking roller to check for noise development in the interior. Cool. During this test, the suspension will settle, subsequently allowing the tow and camper, camber, to be set on the unibat underbody test bench. Okay. Okay. I don't know what that means, but I guess they shake it and make sure nothing's falling out, right? 
<laughs> any loose nuts or bolts that they they start like dingling. <laughs> Meanwhile, headlights and optional adaptive cruise control and other assistance systems are calibrated. The exhaust, gas, braking, driving and braking behaviors are all tested on the roller dyna- dynamometer. Before the vehicle is cleaned, the underbody protection is mounted and the paint is inspected. After all tests are completed and inspections passed, your vehicle will begin its next step on its journey to you. Please note, this does not apply to European delivery vehicles your vehicle will be awaiting delivery at the factory all right so that was on the 5th of august it was ready for transport that day uh it actually was in route on the 8th and it arrived at the port on the 12th and it got on the vessel on the 12th and as you could see in a couple days according to vesselfinder.com you type in slf composer it should be at port uh tomorrow Right, because right now, yeah, it should be a port tomorrow. So we'll see what happens, guys. I'll keep you updated. Thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, as we follow the delivery, the, the ordering and delivery of the 2022 Porsche 911 Turbo S Cabriolet. Thanks so much, guys. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.